one of the directions that we're considering as a company overall is like maybe stretching the definition of what a game is. Uh, it's just a system with a goal, right? And I think a really cool example of this is DeepMind went from AlphaGo to AlphaFold, where they turned something that was good at solving games towards a problem that was very important for us to figure out how to do, which is how do we predict how a protein will fold, which used to take a PhD six years to do, and then they had to play that game and get really good. And so if alignment was your focus, yeah, I don't see why you wouldn't be able to define a game. Big reason why we're not making our own games from scratch right now is I do think it's important to be able to get people to participate. And so maybe there is a game, maybe it's a niche game somewhere and not everybody's using it. You know, I mean, there's so many board games out there. There's so many computer games out there. And a lot of those game designers are way more creative than than I am. Is there a way to find one of those games and tweak it a little bit so it really encourages that? Maybe we can find a hundred of them and they all kind of push at different points of alignment because I don't know if there's one lever that gives you the most aligned model, but if you give them like a, like a gauntlet of challenges and see where it performs well and where it doesn't, and then you can make improvements 